was finished with my video diary for the day, but and, and clearly a sex tourist is being hit on by a 13 year old Vietnamese boy in our hotel room and he keeps knocking on our door and he wants a kiss and I don't think he's gonna leave us alone. And I'm just gonna watch TV, whatever she wants to do. <laughs> I'll be fine with <laughs> Good night. Day, day two in Vietnam. Uh, woke up uh, about 6.30 in the morning to knocking again on the door. With, and the walls. <laughs> and the walls. The kid was in the walls actually, I think, at one point, knocking, trying to wake us up, trying to tell Anne Claire something, I don't know, he loves her or how to, he can read English, I don't know. The only person that we've actually run into that can speak English at the moment. Um, 10 o'clock, we left the hotel. Dropped us off, uh, ended up in a taxi. The guy's yelling at us, telling us that we have to go to Ho Chi Minh, and we're saying no. And now we're going to Dai uh, which was not the plan, but our other plan is not possible, and there's no way anyone will ever understand our English. So, yeah, and now we're sitting in the bus, which we thought was leaving right away, which never is. And uh, we have no idea when we're going to get there, and yeah. Hopefully we run into tourists again someday, so we can speak English to someone. But Anne Claire, Anne Claire keeps thinking she's going to run into someone that speaks English. I don't think it's going to happen. The journey begins again. So we've officially been an hour, and we've gone probably three kilometers in a circle. The same three kilometers in a circle, over and over just to fill up the minibus and yes there's still lots of honking and I think they just forced an old woman onto the minibus I don't even think she, I don't even think she wanted to go and yeah I think we're never gonna get to where we're going and we might end up in India or something I don't know I don't know we're in another world if it could be somebody but you should come to Vietnam it's an amazing place <laughs> See you later. Uh, we're finally heading towards our destination. The bus is officially full, as you can see. I don't know if you could fit this many people on a bus, but they have just done it. And the driving is nuts. We've seen a guy with a pig in a small trailer. We've seen kids with uh, machetes running in front of the van. Um, yeah, and now we're listening to music and trying to feel like we're not going to die. <laughs> So hopefully I have another video diary soon. Maybe not. Okay, we should have stayed maybe in the bus. Why don't you tell us to get off then? We are supposed to be in Dallas. So apparently. We're supposed to get up at Dailat, but we're in some other city now, and we got off at the wrong bus station. Dailat is 200 kilometers from here now. And Claire, we just found someone that sort of speaks English and is sort of helping us out. So hopefully we're getting another bus ticket. That's going to cost us even more money. We already spent a small fortune. Well, hopefully we're going to get where we're supposed to be. And the people here are very aggressive trying to sell everything to you. Uh, yeah, and people are looking at me strange right now. Bus stop, Vietnam. Crazy. <laughs> so now we got two tickets to go where we originally had tickets to go to. Hopefully we get off at the right stop this time. This lady's currently trying to sell us some green wrapped up thing and bread. Uh, it's either that or crackers. That's our food options at the moment. We're in uh, Tak Lak, and uh, yeah, the people won't leave us alone. <laughs> oh, Vietnam, beautiful place. <laughs> Mom, I'm, I'm sorry if I die, but I just bought a sandwich from this lady, some sort of chicken, and uh, tastes all right. There's chili, cucumber, bread, and I think chicken, not sure, could be dog, who knows. But it's only option. And Claire went to go look for other options. I don't think there are any. Waiting for another bus. So we're now officially knowing that we're going the right place. We're gonna get off at the right place. 
find the second bus. Uh, yeah, second bus. It should have been one bus. We know what guest house we're gonna stay at, how much it should cost. Uh, Anne Claire found French people, which always makes her happy. Uh, I talked to some Vietnamese guy who tried to sell me his motorbike tour thing but told me that my sandwich I was eating was actually pork and not chicken, so I learned something there. And yeah, we've officially, I've officially spent five days on a bus pretty much. Today we started at 10 and we'll end about eight. So yeah, five days of buses. Uh, tomorrow we will not be getting on a bus, so I'll just say that. And my hair is looking wonderful, by the way. stop and everything we share sun is pretty much set and players running to get a picture let's just go let's be free Vietnam can be peaceful just gotta get rid of the people get there eventually when you gotta understand baby Let's be free. 